Hey guys, Tristan at Angola Genius Phone Repair, and today I'm gonna to walk you through a few tips and tricks on taking pictures through your 4th of July weekend today. All right, so our first tip today is gonna to be the rule of three, using the grid lines on your camera. Basically, it helps you center an object to make sure that you have it in frame and it's always focused. So our second tip is gonna be don't zoom. Basically, if you can get in physically closer, go ahead and do so. Basically, when you zoom in, it emphasizes basically a lot of shakiness, uh, noise, and overall lowers the resolution of the photo. So these next few tips are gonna focus more on nighttime photos. Uh, basically, with nighttime photos, you have to shoot in some kind of lit area. It does not have to be extremely lit, but there has to be some source of light for the photo. Basically, with nighttime photos, you wanna adjust the exposure. Lower exposure means a more clear photo because the shutter speed becomes faster and it takes in less light to create a more clear photo. So, and if your phone has a night mode, go ahead and use it. Basically, with night mode, it takes most of those blurry pictures that you thought you took and makes it into one clear photo in order to create the nice picture. All right, so these next few tips are gonna focus on what you're actually gonna be photographing on your 4th of July weekend, fireworks. First one's gonna be use a tripod. Stability is gonna be key here. Basically, using a tripod means that your phone's gonna be stable and you'll have a much more sturdy and clear picture at the end. Um, next, we have taking off your brightness or your flash. Um, the flash helps create a harder image for your camera to receive on the phone. Basically, all you'll get is one blurred mess all over the screen. So turning off your flash will help the firework illuminate your phone screen instead of the flash. And then last but not least, turn off the HDR or the high dynamic range. Basically, what it's trying to do is it takes all the blurry photos and makes it one photo. However, you're shooting a moving object, so that's not what we're here for. Basically, you wanna turn that off so that way it gets one clear photo of the firework you're trying to take. It. 